Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to prove that f is continuous at a if and only if the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h is equal to f of a. So in order to do this, what we need to prove is that if f is continuous at a, then the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h equals f of a. We also need to prove if the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h is equal to f of a, then f is continuous at a. Because this is saying if and only if, we need to prove that if this, then that, and then if that, then this. So this first statement, we are using the fact that f is continuous at a, which means that the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to f of a. And what we need to do is say, okay, let's say we want to let x in this problem equal a plus h. This is a substitution that we're going to do. Therefore, this is the limit of f of a plus h is equal to f of a. The limit as what approaches what? Well, if x um, is approaching a, right, that means h is approaching 0. Because for x to be equal to a, h has to actually be 0. Therefore, for x to approach a, h has to approach 0. And we've therefore proved that if f is continuous at a, then the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h is equal to f of a. Now we have to do the opposite which is going to involve the precise definition of a limit. So that states that um, the limit exists if for every epsilon greater than zero, there's a delta greater than zero, such that if the absolute value of x minus a is less than delta, in this case, we're not dealing with a function of x. The limit is taking on h. So this is h minus the value that h is approaching, which is 0, such that if this, then f of x, which in this case is f of a plus h, minus l, the value of the limit, minus f of a is less than epsilon. So this is saying if the absolute value of h is less than delta, then the absolute value of f of a plus h minus f of a is less than epsilon. And we're going to use the fact that, based off of what we said earlier, h is equal to x minus a. So this is saying if x minus a, absolute value of it, is less than delta, then f of a plus h, which is equal to f of x, minus f of a is less than epsilon. This is the precise definition of a limit, and therefore this implies that the limit as x approaches a of f of x equals f of a, right? In the same way that we created these inequalities from this limit, we can create this limit from these inequalities now that we've changed the um, variables around. And therefore, we prove that if f is continuous, then this limit exists. And if this limit exists, then f is continuous. We've proven that f is continuous at a if and only if the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h is equal to f of a.